Hi, my name is Nick and welcome to Cafe Clutch. Today I want to talk about how to make a WDT for $7. All right, so I've gone ahead and gathered a few supplies. All you will need is, first of all, a used wine cork, uh, some very fine needles. I found these on Amazon for $7. Uh, they are, I think, intended for cleaning 3D printer, noddle, printer nozzles, but they have a diameter of 0.4 millimeters. They have this nice little coil on the end that uh, makes it really easy to put them into a uh, cork and then you'll just need a drill with the proper drill bits. This is really easy and very cheap. Uh, one of the advantages of making your own is you can, uh, you know, it, it takes a little bit more effort than buying one, but one, it's extremely affordable uh, for essentially the same thing. And I decided to do this in part because uh, I couldn't find any that I liked on uh, just looking on Amazon at a price that I was willing to pay, in part because the ones that you do see, they often have uh, thicker diameter needles than what I was looking for. I wanted something quite thin. Uh, and again, this cost $7 in about you know two minutes to uh, put together myself. Um, and then also I use a flare espresso machine, so I wanted uh, something with quite uh, thin and fine kind of point area since the basket for a flare I think is you know something like uh, 38 millimeters in diameter or something like that something much smaller than a typical group head uh, so it's a little bit more challenging to find a distribution tool for a flare espresso maker anyways uh, even the pro model so uh, Come on in and let's uh, put one of these together. So taking a closer look at these needles, uh, I think you get 10 in a package, at least of the kind that I got. Um, they're a good length with a pointy tip, which I actually find quite useful for uh, poking out any blockages that I might get in my uh, basket of my portafilter. Uh, and then they have this coiled end, which is going to, uh, I found it successful just to uh, insert it into the cork and have it stay put just with a friction fit. Uh, didn't need glue or anything like that. Uh, the drill bit that I found that worked for me was this uh, 5 sixty-fourths size. Uh, so it looks perhaps a little big, but it actually worked out just fine and actually couldn't fit the 1 16th in the chuck on my drill here. So we're using 5 sixty-fourth inches sized drill bit. And we're just going to get that put in our drill here. And that is about the length that I want it, just a touch longer. Okay, perfect. So you can see that on this guy here, I did kind of a triangle pattern with a slight angle inwards. Uh, let's see if we can do just straight up and down for this one. So I've picked this cork. And I think we'll again do three in kind of a triangle configuration. So 
At this point, it's really quite easy. You just drill. Awesome. Do the second one like this, and I'm just doing my best to keep it straight up and down. Check our work. Just stick that one. Push a little bit harder and wedge it in there a little bit further. Boom, and there you've got it. DIY Weiss distribution tool for all of $7. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, I'll go ahead and link the kit that I found down below, uh, but thank you for joining and I hope you have a great week.